welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Loa and together it's Loa. And today we're going to read a book called Dragon's Fat Cat. So let's get right on to the story. Okay, Dragon's Fat Cat by Dave Pilkey. Chapter 1. Meow. One snowy day, one snowy day in January, Dragon heard a funny noise. Meow. That sounds like a cat," said Dragon. He opened the door and looked outside in the yard. Sitting in the snow was a fat gray cat. "Hello, little cat," said Dragon. "Come inside and get warm." But the fat cat did not want to come inside. The fat cat just sat in the snow and said, Meow. Okay. Later, Dragon heard another funny noise. Meow. There's that cat again, said Dragon. Won't you please come inside and get warm? Dragon asked. But the fat cat did not want to come inside. The fat cat just stayed there in the snow, saying, meow. The days passed, and Dragon did not hear any more funny noises. When Dragon looked outside, he did not see the fat cat. All he, was, all he could see was a blanket of snow and a fat lump in the middle of the snow. With the fat cat, with the fat cat jumped to the middle. Oh no, said Dragon. Something is not right. You are coming with me, said Dragon. And he took the cold cat inside. Chapter 2, Life with the Cat. After a few hours by the fire, the cat... The fat cat was warm, dry, and very cozy. The fat cat sat on the dragon's lap and purred and purred. It is too cold for you to go back outside, said dragon. So you would have to stay here with me. The fat cat did not seem to mind. And if you are going to stay with me, said dragon, I'll have to give you a name. Dragon tried to think of a name for a fat cat. I will call you Cat, said dragon. A cat is a very good name for a cat. If you are going to stay in my house, said Dragon, I'll need to get you a bed to sleep in. So Dragon took a big brown basket and filled it up with soft blankets. Then he wrote Cat's name on it. Dragon puts, Dragon puts Cat's bed down on the floor next to his own. How do you like your new bed? Dragon asked. But Cat was already fast asleep. And soon, so was Dragon. Chapter 3, Problems. Dragon, Dragon liked living with the cat. And the cat liked living with the dragon, but dragon did not know how to take care of a cat. He did not know how to train a cat. That was a problem. Dragon did not know how to feed a cat. Dragon did not know how to feed a cat. Dragon did not know how to feed a cat. It was a big problem, and Dragon did not know what to do. And Dragon did not know what to do with the yellow puddles Cat made, but it was a smelly problem. One day the male mouse stopped by. P.U. Said the male mouse, "Your house stinks." I know," 
said Dragon. My cat has a smelly problem. What you need is a litter box, said the mouse man. A litter box will make the smelly problem go away. A litter box, said Dragon. That's good. That's a good idea. Here's a male mouse. Here's a dragon. So Dragon and Cat walked to the highway and picked up some litter they would find. Dragon put the litter into the box. See, they're putting litter into a box. That box is supposed to be the litter for the cat. And place the box in his house. Now the dragon's house really smelled bad. Dragon did not know what to do. We need to go to the pet store, he told Cat. So Dragon and Cat got into the car and drove to the pet store. I will buy some stuff for my cat. I need to buy some stuff. I need to buy some cat stuff, said Dragon. What's your cat's name? asked the sales pig. Cat, said Dragon. That's a good name for cat, said the pig. I thought to, I thought um, of it myself, said Dragon. The kind old pig showed Dragon how to take care of the cat. She showed Dragon what to feed his cat. He even showed Dragon how to get rid of the smelly problem. So here's them getting all their stuff. Dragon brought a lot of stuff for Cat. He left the pet store with everything he needed. So there's him getting all the stuff for his cat. Except for one thing. Oops. Four. Chapter four. Left behind. When Dragon came home, he got his house ready for Cat. He put out the dishes of food and water. He filled up the box with kitty litter and he scrapped and he scrammed cat toys all over the floor. At the, all the while, Dragon had a funny feeling. I feel like I've forgotten something, he said. Why do you think you got he forgot and comment down below? So there's him thinking he's forgotten something. He doesn't know. Suddenly, the dragon remembered what he forgotten. Cat! He shouted. I left you behind! So worried. I would be very worried too if I had a cat and I left him behind. Dragon found his flashlight and went outside to look for cat. Cat, cat, he called. But Cat did not be anywhere to found. Dragon looked and looked all through the night, but he could not find Cat. Dragon sat down on an old crate and began to cry. He had lost his cat. So very pretty pictures. Suddenly, Dragon heard a funny noise. Meow. Dragon looked around and around, but Dragon looked around and around, but he could not see Cat anywhere. Finally, Dragon looked down at an old crate, and there was Cat. Cat. But Dragon was not alone deep inside the crate. Snuggling close to the cat were five little kittens. You had babies, said Dragon. You were a good cat. He has all his babies. Dragon picked up the old crate and brought it back to the warm house. Chapter 5, Home Again. Later tonight, Dragon made up good names for kittens. Then... He made five small beds that wrote each of the kitten's name on the side. Dragon put kitten beds on the floor next to his own bed. 
how do you like your new bed? He asked. But kittens were already fast asleep. And so was Dragon. So that was the end of the book. If you had fun, give us a huge thumbs up. Peace out. Bye.